Welcome to today's DDRX. Our anchoring scripture is Hebrews 11.1. 1. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Today I want to talk about faith killers. Many things can kill our faith. Many things can shipwreck our faith. It's interesting that faith can die. Faith can go down. Remember, anything that grows can also die. <laughs> so the first one is sin, sin, any form of sin. Because sin separates us from God. You know, sin like anger, fear, bitterness. In Hebrews 12, 15, the Bible says, Looking carefully, lest anyone fall short of the grace of God, lest any root of bitterness springing up cause trouble, and by this, many become defiled. The Bible also tells us in Romans 6, 1-2 that shall we continue in sin for grace to abound? God forbid. So, sin is a big hindrance. The second one is busyness. Spending so much time on the non-essentials of life. Many don't have time to study their Bible, to pray, to serve. So I want to encourage you, clear your schedule and have time for God. Have time for devotion. Don't forget Romans 10, 17. Faith comes by hearing, hearing by the word of the Lord. In fact, God also encouraged Joshua in Joshua 1, 8, that this book of the Lord shall not depart from your mouth. So we need to just grow in the word of God. Then three, unbelieving friends, our association. Negative people, complainers, people with scarcity mindset. You know, their words can choke you. They can kill your faith. In Mark 5, 35, while he was still speaking, some came from the ruler of the synagogue's house who said, your daughter is dead. Why trouble the master any further? This was the case of Jairus. His daughter was dead and he sent for Jesus. And when Jesus even came in, you know, people, negative people around him, you know, mourners, physicians of no value, they were complaining, they were telling him, don't trouble Jesus because your daughter was dead. Thank God he neglected them. You know, he didn't look at their side. Jesus raised up his daughter because of his belief. Then another thing, the fourth one is worldliness, lovers of pleasure. When you enjoy the pleasure of this world, some spend their entire life on social media, Netflix, movies, worldly possessions. There was a young, rich lawyer who came to Jesus in Mark 10, 17 to 22. He loved pleasure. By the time Jesus was done with him, you know, the man left his presence sorrowful. And the fifth one, which is not the least, I will close with this, is when there are delays or discouraging circumstances. You know, uh, there was a story in Luke 5, 18 to 19, then the old man brought on a bed, a man who was paralyzed, whom they sought to, be, to bring in and lay before Jesus. And when they could not find how they might bring him in because of the crowd, they went up onto the house top and let him down with his bed through the tiling into the midst before Jesus. I know Jesus was moved with the faith of the friends of this paralytic man because there was, you know, there was an obstruction. They couldn't go inside through the normal door to see Jesus. But these people said they would not let Jesus pass him by. You know, they uncovered the roof, they lowered him down, you know, and Jesus was moved with their faith. You know, some delays in people's life have actually shipwrecked many people. But I want you to look beyond the negative circumstances. Look beyond what is going on around us. Grow your faith. Don't let your faith be shipwrecked. Thank you.